Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I want to start off to get rid of the confusion over our family name. <laughs> to my dad, my grandmother, my mom, and to Father Emil, it was always pronounced Capon. But to the people of the rural Czechoslovakian community of Pilsen, Kansas, it became Capon. And one of the reasons it became that is because when the local high school was built in honor of my uncle, the cardinal came out and did the dedication and it was pronounced as Capon Memorial High School. And Capon Memorial High School is how it stayed. So we are Capons, we're Capons. Either way is fine, just as long as you don't call us mud. I don't think the enormity of what occurred today will actually hit me until my wife and I are heading home from this experience. A country boy from a small town in Kansas just received the nation's highest award for valor. That boy was my Uncle Emil. I didn't know him. We never met. He died tragically in that prisoner of war camp some 60 years ago. But the resilient and amazing prisoners of war who knew him would never let him die in our hearts. If not for these men, I may have not had such a lifelong personal relationship with my uncle. I thank them dearly and honor them today for having the strength to survive and to come and tell the story of the soldier, Saint, Chaplain Emil Capon. My father wanted so much to see this day. He always knew it would happen. He talked about it all the time. Unfortunately, he died before he was, before he was able to get to, this, to see this. But I made a promise to him. I made a promise that I would make it right with Uncle Emil and the town of Pilsen. It was the people of Pilsen who packed the local parish for Father Emil's first mass, packed it so tight that people stood outside and for the service. It was the people of Pilsen who honored him with every new generation. It was the people of Pilsen who would not let the story of a hometown hero fade into the background. This is why we are giving this medal to the town. This is why so many others will know the Father Emil story. It is a symbol of humble beginnings and how necessity does not dictate your destiny. I know Dad and Father Emil are looking down today from heaven, and I know it makes me so happy to be able to accept this honor for them. God bless you all. Thank you very much.